Filtering is a way of separating an insoluble material from a liquid. There are many ways to filter solutions and all are dependent on what the desired product is. Gravity filtrations use filter paper and a funnel supported by an iron ring. The funnel has a long stem with a slanted tip to help the flow of filtrate into the receiving vessel. The filter paper needs to be the correct size to fit into the funnel, and the proper porosity is essential as well. If igniting the filter paper after filtering, make sure the paper is ashless. To properly fold the filter paper, fold it in half, then quarters. Allow the second fold to be off-center to form a cone that will leave a small space at the bottom for better liquid drainage. Tear off a small portion of the corner to allow a tight fit between the funnel and paper. Place the cone into the funnel and moisten with some solvent. Push the upper portion of the filter paper against the funnel, remove any bubbles and to make a seal. The filter paper should be clean and smooth against the funnel. Make sure the tip of the funnel is touching the side of the receiving vessel for proper flow of filtrate. Swirl the solution to suspend the solid and liquid. Pour using a glass rod to guide the solution. Keeping the level of solution no more than three quarters full in the filter paper. Use a wash bottle to create a stream of liquid to transfer the solid left in the beaker. Wash the precipitate with several wash portions by adding water or solvent to the beaker, swirling and decanting into the funnel. Use a policeman to release the filter paper from the funnel carefully, as not to rip or tear the filter paper. If igniting, fold the upper edges and place the filter with the filtrand in a crucible that has been brought to constant mass. Gravity filtration can also be done with hot solvent for crystallization procedures when the desired product is more soluble in hot solution than in cold and the removal of insoluble impurities is needed. In hot filtrations, a hot plate, a short stem or stemless filter is used to ensure minimal cooling as well as fluted filter paper to increase the surface area between the filter and filtrate. This maximizes the rate in which the liquid flows through the filter paper. Fluting is done by folding the filter paper in quarters as in regular gravity filtration, but folding each quarter and then each eighth to make a fan. After dissolving the sample, there may be color that needs to be removed. This can be done by adding some activated charcoal when the solution is below the boiling point, so the solution does not boil over. Swirl and allow the charcoal to remove the color and settle. Have a small amount of solvent in an Erlenmeyer flask heating on a hot plate. Place the funnel and ring above it with the filter paper in the funnel to warm them. Place a watch glass on top of the funnel. This helps keep in the heat and decrease evaporation. To avoid premature crystallization, keep the filtered and unfiltered solutions as hot as possible and pour the solution in small portions into the filter to produce the maximum rate of filtration. Wash the transfer vessel and filtrin several times with hot solution. If crystals form in the filter, wash with a small amount of hot solvent. Remove the flask with the filtrate from the hot plate. Scratch the sides of the flask with a glass rod and allow it to cool to room temperature. 
Fast cooling produces small crystals that may trap impurities. When the solution reaches room temperature, place it in an ice bath for about five minutes. Let's review the steps. Choose a type of filtration, either hot or cold. Set up apparatus for chosen filtration. Select the correct filter paper and fold accordingly. Moisten the paper with hot or cold solvent. Filter solution in portions. Rinse the transfer vessel to ensure all solid is filtered and then wash the solid. If hot filtering, allow solution to cool for crystals to form. Now you are ready to filter.